Hello, welcome to another piano lesson with uh, Richard Yang. Uh, normally, I would tell you about the uh, title of the piece I'm covering. This one, I I I, I can't. I I can't. I'm gonna try. Vogel, I'm Kaffee. Uh, question mark. I, I don't know. <laughs> By any means. So this is a very uh, beautiful piece uh, with uh, obviously the uh, very very uh, you know glorious last two pages. Uh, so I'm gonna dive right in. Okay. Uh, so in the beginning, as uh, according to Animans, it's uh, it's uh, about the bird flying. So you want to give it that feel. So um, the, the 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 first four pages are relatively simple. So I'm gonna play slowly. I will give you some you know tips and tricks on the fingering, but I'm gonna go by uh, you know get this through pretty quickly. Hopefully uh, you know you can always slow down the video to look at the fingering in detail. Uh, but otherwise, I'm gonna not gonna spend too much time here. Okay, in a beginning. I use the right hand on the C. You want to get your hand position to here. So that you don't need to move, do any other uh, movement, right? So, the way I do my fingering, it's uh, I want to minimize the amount of uh, my hand movement around. So uh, as you can see, I try to line things up so that I only need to move my hand in the position, and then I can just play whatever I need before you know I you know the having to move your hand is uh, always uh, uh, some uh, you know you try not to. Okay, second line. Observe how I do this. I by doing this, I need I don't need to move my hand a lot. Okay? So really, the, this section you just uh, you know uh, once you know the fingering, uh, you know you can figure out how you want to present this sec uh, section. Uh, it is really up for interpretation. Really, I, I put a little rubato in here. Um, you know, you can uh, decide for your own. Okay, section A. Other than fingering, there is really not too much uh, to talk about here. Um, you obviously need to bring out the melody, which is uh, in the middle in this case. Uh, so know your melody, bring them, uh, bring it out. Uh, the other parts, whether uh, it's uh, you know higher up, lower, uh, you know down below, uh, just uh, don't bring out, bring them out. They are not important. You you're, you just want to cover your melody here. Uh, section B. Look at 
how uh, instead of obviously I cannot do that, right? That's crazy, right? So the way I do it is I use my thumb to capture both of these notes, right? So if you put it, put, put your, get your thumb uh, in between notes, that's how you play that. Obviously, is not very difficult, so I'm gonna play a little slower so you can follow the left hand. I'm gonna do, go uh, front of the line here. slow it down to uh, uh, watch again. Other than the fingering, no, uh, nothing really uh, exciting. Section D. So it's very, very beginning, uh, like the beginnings you, where you just need to position your hand so you need to minimize, so you can minimize the movement. Right? I'm gonna exaggerate on the volume, so don't, don't worry about that. Make sure you change the pedal clean. Section F. Uh, it's a very slow, very, uh, very, very slow, uh, uh, beautiful section. It should sound a little empty. It, it should sound a little empty far away. You want to have that kind of a distant feeling.
make sure you bring out the decrescendo, right? The uh, first note, after you play it, the second note is more like an echo. So don't play full force. Don't play like that. Let the second one needs to be less. because I cannot reach 10 so and normally I would roll but in this case rolling the nose it, it just doesn't sound right so I just play I just skip the uh, C because uh, I've got C cover everywhere else, everywhere else as well so and you, you can note, note from my uh, recording uh, I do a little I don't mean to do staccato here but I do mean to make them a little more detached because these are not uh, in my opinion, these are not meant to be uh, legato. No, right? But you have to pedal it down, uh, so it should it shouldn't sound too off. Uh, uh, either way, when I play that a little more detached, it gives me some uh, way to count as well. why I really don't like my hand size, right? And being able to play 10 would have been perfect, right? Right? Remember, there are quite a few, uh, quite a lot of things going on, right? We have this. Right, you have that, and you have this. Also have this. There are quite a lot of uh, stuff going on, so you want to make sure. Um, you know, obviously, you want to be able to. In the end, people need to be able to hear those different voices separately. Uh, that's the goal, right? So the way you practice, just practice. I, I don't know. Press that normally, but try to each time focus on the different voice. Okay, uh, and that's how you get to the final re so recording. And this is the part where you need to spend a lot of time uh, to bring out the uh, voices. Uh, it's not something I can teach you in, in an hour. Okay, so play, play through this very slowly. choice uh, so just uh, watch the video you'll get that okay now hold the uh, uh, hold the eight uh, you can even slow down a little tiny little bit here right because from here it's almost like a, a new beginning almost impressive stuff so again there because there are like three different voices uh, going on so you need to uh, uh, you know make sure that when you practice each run you focus on a different voice and uh, uh, you at least need to be able to hear that in your head right I'm gonna play that very very slowly so you know uh, how to follow the so you can follow the fingering and each time you can follow uh, the fingering on the you know different voice in, in that line this 
bass clearly. Alternatively, if you find this difficult, you can also do this, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1. This uh, would appear to be easier, I, I, uh, you know, but to me, it's all, I don't use this only because I need to do an extra step to uh, get myself into this position. From, otherwise, I can just, uh, I can just play directly from that because that's where my hand uh, would have been from the previous uh, notes, okay? Uh, so your, your, your call. So again, one more time. Oops. that a lot of uh, young uh, or newer students will just, uh, uh, you know, make this go right? But you want to make it as clear as you can. That will make it very, very powerful, trust me. So let me go from the beginning of this line one more time. too quickly um, well it is because you this is the part that you need to get uh, practice a lot on uh, to, to me this this particular portion is a uh, fairly uh, uh, straightforward I, I don't even need to practice but you, you might need to so That's the part of the practice, you need to do that slowly. Again, every, every note is important. Don't, don't just, uh, uh, don't fudge it through. Right? Right? Make very, uh, everything sound very clear. Section K. Fingering wise, it's uh, very easy.
got the, the next two measures, uh, so, so after this is uh, that arpeggio is probably the most difficult part of the piece. Uh, and I'm gonna talk to that. You need to practice this line so, so slowly, right? Uh, the threes and three and fours, uh, you can you can search up on how to match them up, but I'm gonna play that very, very slowly so you can kind of hear, uh, I want you to feel it instead of trying to, you know, do the, do the mechanical matching between threes and fours, that's too weird. You need to feel the music, okay? practice right so slowly you uh, use your left hand as your uh, as your base uh, as your uh, to keep your rhythm and the right hand just make it fit okay and don't worry to uh, play it as loud as you can during the practice so that um, you know, by the time, because the more familiar uh, you are, the more you can control the, uh, the dynamics. Here, watch the, uh, okay, this is, I'm gonna play that one note at a time so you can follow the fingering. The first part is easy. Five, uh, count five fives, uh, right? Count five. One. Right? So again. attempt to play this I didn't know that so I, I did something like crazy like this some uh, something really really strange right so don't don't do that so uh, I'm gonna play that one last time okay this is a very very important Is I count the one, I, I count by eighth notes, okay? Right, so that's how you uh, play, play that, okay? Section L. Uh, so again, it's just the figuring work. So follow, follow, uh, watch this, play, uh, this uh, I'll play slowly. Practice is so slowly. I'm going to do that from the uh, beginning again.
So let me do that from the beginning of this line again. I'm gonna explain that a little bit. Why I do you know switch uh, so a certain place? Uh, that's just I, I think what this is what makes the most sense to me. So just slow down the video, watch the fingering, and try to follow it. Right here, very very important. Right here, play a seventh gear, and do a finger number three. Okay. If, you, if that five is throwing you off, uh, my suggestion is uh, you know skip a note, make it a four, and then try to feel the rhythm first. Uh, once you get it, just speed things up a little, little bit to squeeze one more note in there, and that's uh, that's exactly how I, I learned it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Play it, play it again using four instead of five. And when you do it over and over, over and over, once you know know it really well, then you add in that fi uh, fifth note in there. time because a lot of you might be very you might think that counting this is very very difficult uh, so that the, the line the measure before that should be good this part should be good now here Hear this. That's uh, the end result, and you want to, uh, you know, the way I count again, I count eight at a time. So uh, hopefully, um, uh, so I, I do regret that there's not a lot of uh, like small details I can talk about. Uh, th uh, for this piece, as long as you know that you're fingering, uh, you will do fine. Okay, so until next time, goodbye.